Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is How many bar bodies would you expect to see in the human cell containing the following chromosomes? And as you see, most of the variance here is the result aneuploidy, meaning that due to non-disjunction, some extra chromosomes are present, whether it is X chromosome, Y chromosome or missing chromosome. Take a look at this picture, so you would have bad idea what is bar body. So here is a cell, here is a nucleus, and here is a nucleus at high resolution, and you see bar body here and bar body here. In majority of the cases, bar body is associated with nucleus membrane, but in some cases we can find it also in different places. Because females has two X chromosomes and males has only one X chromosome, in females one X chromosome would be deactivated and would form bar body. But do not expect to see them in every female cell, actually we can see it in about 30-60% of the cases. And of course we can see them only in somatic cells, because in somatic cells we have deployed number of chromosomes. So female has two X chromosomes and one would form a bar body. Bar body is also called X or sex chromatin. Basically it is deactivated or inactive X chromosome. This darkly stained structure is named after Dr. Murray Barr, who was Canadian genetist. Now let's take a look at the first case. This is of course, as you know, female genotype and every female inherit one X chromosome from the mother side, another one from the father side. So let me show you two variants. And in some cells would be maternally inherited chromosome, X chromosome deactivated. In other cells would be paternally inherited X chromosome deactivated. In the same female, we may find in different tissues only one X chromosome active, but in some cells it's going to be paternally inherited X chromosome, in other tissues, in other cells it would be maternally inherited X chromosome active. But only one chromosome, X chromosome per cell would be active. So variant A would give us one active X chromosome and one bar body. Males do not form bar body because they have only one X chromosome and it is always maternally inherited and males get Y chromosome from the father side. But because they have only one X chromosome, it always would be active and no bar bodies we would see in the male somatic cells. And next variant would be female and O here stands for the missing X chromosome, because one chromosome is X chromosome is missing, that means that here all the X chromosomes would be active and we are not going to see any bar bodies. So in the first variant A we are going to see one bar body, zero bar bodies in male, and in female with Turner syndrome with one missing X chromosome we are also going to see zero bar bodies. And next whose genotype it's going to be. We have Y chromosome here and two X chromosomes. Whenever you see Y chromosome present, no matter how many X chromosomes are going to be, this is going to be phenotypically male. So this is going to be male with one extra X chromosome. And this X chromosome is going to form a bar body. This is going to be whether this X chromosome or this X chromosome, this process happens randomly just like in female. So this is going to be a male with one bar body. So let's put one here. And next we see a male with two Y chromosomes and two X chromosomes. And again, one X chromosome is going to form a bar body. So we will see one bar body here extra Y chromosome, which is also sex chromosome, is not going to form a bar body. It is not critical for male organism to have one extra Y chromosome, because, take a look, 
X chromosome size would be this big and Y chromosome size would be this big. X chromosome has about 1000 genes on it and Y chromosome has less than 100 and most of them are not that important except SRY gene on the Y chromosome which specifies maleness, so sex determining region. Next variant, this is also going to be phenotypically male because we see here Y chromosome but this male has three X chromosomes and two of these X chromosomes would be deactivated. Only one X chromosome per cell can be active so we will see that this is going to be a male with two bar bodies. Next variant, this is going to be male because Y chromosome present here and one X chromosome. So we are going to see zero bar bodies here. So let's put zero here. Next, this is going to be female with one extra X chromosome. Again, take a look. This three X chromosomes can be different. We call them homologous, but they can be different. For example, these two X chromosomes came from the mother side due to non-disjunction, but mother inherited one X chromosome from her mother side, another X chromosome from her father side. So these two X chromosomes, those homologous can be slightly different. And this X chromosome, this female, for example, inherited from her father side. And in different tissue of this female, for example, this chromosome, X chromosome can be active and this two would be deactivated. In other tissues, this X chromosome can be active and this two would be deactivated and would form bar body. And in other tissue, this is a random process, this X chromosome can be active and this two would form a bar body. But nevertheless, we are going to see here two deactivated X chromosomes. Or we will see two bar bodies in the nucleus of this female. And the last variant, again, this is going to be a female, but three X chromosomes out of four would be deactivated and would form a bar body. So this is going to be female with one active X chromosome and three bar bodies in her nucleus. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.